Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another TPL battle. Today we are taking on my man Mr. Catman. So hopefully uh, we can have a good game. Last time we played him, things went pretty well for us. Um, we used that weakness policy taunt Cinderace. We were able to uh, bust some holes in his team pretty quickly. Obviously, he's not going to fall for that this time. So we've swapped some things up. We've also... Uh, obviously changed up our team quite a bit since then so um, this is a pretty different matchup than it was last time um, as for what we are bringing for this week we got Vaporeon here rocking the baton pass on it because we want to keep up that momentum especially against Toxapex don't want to allow that thing to sit around safely want to be uh, threatening that so keeping up momentum is going to be important for that um, We've got this Como O set here with a jet pack. Um, stealth Rocks, Taunt, and two moves that lower its stats. Basically, the idea behind this is we can lower our stats with this Pokemon and get a free switch into a Toxapex. Or, sorry, into a Gothitelle to trap his Toxapex. Because um, Toxapex is obviously something that checks Como O pretty well. So, that's the idea behind that. Um, next up we have a pretty fun set we have Choice Specs Weezing also rocking that Aromatherapy because you know Toxapex is going to be spreading that status he also has that um, Drift Blim which could be running Will-O-Wisp so want to keep our team healthy with that um, and otherwise the coverage move hits like his team uh, pretty well with those three moves Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt and Flamethrower next up we have a new addition to the team we got my boy Pinhead, <laughs> my boy Pinhead, um, literally all this Pokemon needs to KO like four out of his five Pokemon is a layer of spikes or rocks and Thunderbolt, so, and then we have Sucker Punch there for, for priority, Memento, um, I mean Memento's just kind of there because Memento's useful, that stat drop could be very nice, especially if we end up in a situation like we were Last time, where it was last Mono Scavalier trying to reverse sweep us, um, Memento could come in handy for that. Then we've got Choice Band Cinderace, pretty standard Cinderace here, Rockin' Zen Headbutt for the pecs, U-Turn, because like I said earlier, we're trying to keep up that momentum in this game, keep that on our side, Sucker Punch for priority, and Pyro Ball, because as long as that move doesn't miss, it's nasty. So, uh, yeah. And then we've got this Gothitelle here. So, Choice Scarf trick to cripple that Toxapex. Just take it out of the game once we uh, trap it. Um, we have Foul Play there because Foul Play can do some good damage to things like a Scavalier. Um, we've got Psychic so we can hit that Toxapex, KO it, get rid of it, and Trick Room there so we can support our Pincurchin. And also so we could potentially uh, reverse a Trick Room because I do know he likes to use Trick Room Aromatisse, so uh, hopefully we could get something going with that. Otherwise, that's all we really got for our matchup for this week, so I will catch you all once we are into the game. Okay, so as you can see, we are into Team Preview right now. You can go ahead and take a look at Muhammad Squad right there. Um, so for as for a lead, I mean, Cinderace outspeeds and threatens most things on his team and also gives us momentum. So I think Cinderace is probably the lead. It's what we did last time, so might not be the smartest play but I think it's the most reliable play so that's the play we're gonna make you already know best of luck to my man hopefully we can get a good game going today see what he opts to lead off with here I mean, Toxapex is good reliable lead so I can see that he does go SB on here um, so unless this thing is Choice Scarf, we are able to outspeed it. So we'll go ahead and click U-Turn here. If it is Choice Scarf, we will take a good chunk of damage, but it shouldn't be able to KO us. So 
so that's nice. It's not like we really need HP on Cinderace. She's off into Dynamax here immediately. Which is certainly interesting. U-turn does a lot. U-turn does a lot. Um, so what we'll do here... So we'll go into our Gothitel. Max Mindstorm comes out. Does a good chunk. I hope that doesn't put me in range of... Uh, a max phantasm here but here's that life orb as well um, so we can just foul play here yeah so the max phantasm does come out if it KOs Gothitelle that's really fine because now we go into our Cinderace we get to click U-turn again and um, he's down his Dynamax so, we only really lost Gothitelle for it, too. So, we do still have ways that we can take out Toxapex with this team. So, I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and click U-turn again. Keep that momentum going as well. Probably will bring in something like Como-O here. Okay, so he goes for max guard. But we do know he isn't scarf, so we can just click U-turn again here. He could opt to save this as well, because with its speed tier it can put in work if he's able to get rid of Cinderace, but... Yeah, so he does opt to save the SP on here. Brings out Tox Effect. That's cool. See if this thing's like Rocky Helmet or something. Not Rocky Helmet. Probably just Black Sludge. I would assume. So we can actually just go into our Pinkurchin here pretty freely. We can go ahead and throw off a Thunderbolt. This will KO Toxapex. Um, so I imagine he is going to switch out here. Yeah, so he does switch out. See what he opts to go into. Okay, so he just sacks the Espeon. That was a good play too because it covers for me going for something like spikes. Okay, so he goes into Drift Blend. We're just going to Thunderbolt again here. Goes for strength sap, but we are going to be hitting this boy very hard. I believe this should KO, unless it has like a Wakan Berry, which it doesn't, so. That's that all or that all star drift blame out of there. Actually, I don't know if it made all star, but I did vote for it, so. You know, shout out to drift blame. Okay, here comes the Escavalier. Uh, what we can do here, probably gonna go for like drill run. We can go into our Vaporeon here.
does opt to go for that drill run. So we're gonna click baton pass. Bring out our coma o here. The eject pack being knocked off doesn't really matter to be honest because now we have like no Gothitelle so we don't have a way of trapping that Toxapex. We're going to get our rocks up here. I assume he'll most likely go into the Toxapex. Okay, he actually goes into Aroma Teeth, which is fine. So what we'll do, we'll go into our Weezing here. does a lot with that crit um, I kind of want a flamethrower here but it's a bad play if he stays in um, like a really bad play but I also get Cinderace in for free so I'm gonna do it he does switch Goes into the Escavalier, so we get the read on that. And we're able to KO that Escavalier, which is beautiful. Yeah, that, that's fantastic for us. Get rid of that Escavalier. We'll see what he opts to bring in here. Okay, so he goes to Bisharp. He probably Iron Heads here. So we'll go Vaporeon. Let's go for Iron Head. We take that. Um, we're gonna protect here as well. Cause I assume he'll knock off. He, like he either knocks off or switches to uh, um, Toxapex. So, well, he goes for Swords Dance. So that's not great for us. Um, we'll click Scald here. We are max defense Vaporeon, so we could live. We don't live. We still have our Como O here in the back, so that's cool. We'll go ahead, we'll just max Knuckle.
We do have quite a lot of defense investment on this uh, Como, -O, so we should be able to live and attack here with the Dynamax. We will also find out too if he's uh, Jolly or Adamant Bisharp here because we are EV'd for Adamant um, and not Jolly. But regardless, we should be able to live and attack. He goes for Sucker Punch, but that's not going to do enough. Max Knuckle comes out, KO's that bad boy. Okay, so he brings out the Aromatisse. That's cool. We we'll just go for Max Knuckle again. Get chip damage. At this point, I don't think we really need Como, -O, so getting the chip damage is nice. Moonblast does KO, but that's fine. Como -O did its job for this game. Now we can go out to our Cinderace. And we're gonna we're gonna click Zen Headbutt because we'll be able to two hit KO this Aromatisse as well as the Tox Effects. So yeah, we just click Zen Headbutt here. He switches into the packs. Zen comes out. We'll see too if he's a uh, baneful bunker packs here. But I assume he probably just goes back into aromatis. No, so that thing will that thing will drop here to another Zen. We're able to KO the pet. And uh, we should be able to two hit KO Aromatisse here with uh, Zen Headbutt depending on its spread. Still could be packing that trick room in the back, but I'm not too worried about that. We do have uh, Pin Karchin, which underspeeds um, this Pokemon, so that's fine. And yeah, provided uh, provided we don't miss a Zen Headbutt here, should be able to close out the game uh, on this turn, which is awesome. Hey, we'll be moving to 15-0 uh, and 0 now. Zen Headbutt comes through, is able to finish off the Aromatisse and end the game, which is awesome. So, first off, that was like a that was a way better game than the first game. Like, first game kind of went bad really quickly for uh, Muhammad, but this time he he played really well. So that's awesome. Um, I like to see people. Um, I don't want to say improving because he's always been a good battler, but he's he He came up big today like he definitely showed me something I've been pushing that you know He's one of the guys that people should be watching out for in this league. So He's showing me why I have confidence in him today uh, GG's to him best of luck to him on the rest of his season. Hey for us. We're 15 and 0 now going in strong to playoffs hopefully we can keep this form down the stretch um yeah that's all i got for y'all today i will catch y'all later peace